by letting my darling carry all this baggage. Well, we tossed for it and he lost. Well, you can't have everything. I'm lucky in love. Oh, love. <laughs> now that you're here, honey, the weekend party is perfect. Oh, Jenkins, yes. uh, take my guest baggage to their room, yes. please. Hey, well, goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Right. So long. Oh. <laughs> honey, I can't think of rooms or anything else until we get our business settled. I want to talk to your mother. Oh, now, Pat, let me handle this. You've never met Mother. But I'm going to meet her. Oh, please, Pat, let me break it to her. You don't know Mother. Well, all right. Very sincerely yours, and I'll sign it myself. Hello? Yes, Mr. Hawkins. No, your first offer of $30,000 for that consolidated mining stock is ridiculous. You'll have to do better than that. Sorry. <laughs> Goodbye. $30,000 isn't bad, but he'll go higher. They always do. Mother? Come in, Nancy. That'll be all rigged. Mother, something wonderful has happened. Pat has proposed to me. Oh, never accept the first offer of anything. Oh, but you don't understand. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, but Mother... Let me tell you something, young lady. An offer of marriage is exactly like any other business deal. My first offer came from a poor man. The second had $10,000. My sixth offer came from your father. Oh, but father was a millionaire. That had nothing to do with it. I loved him. But I'm in love, too. Oh, you're too young and inexperienced, and I won't consider any engagement seriously until you've had three offers. Oh, but Mother, please. Now, we won't talk any more about it, Nancy, until you've had three offers. Oh. Come on, Key, give out. Yes, Key, dance. Come on, Key, give out. Up in the mood. All right, but as soon as Nancy comes back, I want you to announce our engagement. Okay, make an engagement then, huh? Come on, Pat. Come on. signal shoot. Hold on to your seats, everybody. I've got a very important announcement to make. Oh, darling, it's no use. Mother insisted I have at least three offers of marriage before she'll give her consent. Well, this is one time I wish I was triplets. Oh. Hey, what am I, traffic cop? Take it easy and come up here. Say, Herman, listen. We're in a jam. Nancy's mother won't accept me unless she gets two other proposals first. Well? So you're going to be proposal number one. Oh, yeah. no, not me. Think oh, of Louise. Come on. Oh, come hey, on. hey, there's proposal number one. Hey, Pinky, come here. How would you like to do us a favor? I haven't got a cent. Oh, oh no, no, Pinky. Pinky, all you have to do is ask Mrs. Sprague to let you be her son-in-law. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Not me. When Mary would get my skull. The same, yeah. I was oh. afraid of that. Say, Dick. Hey. Uh, I'm nothing a... doing. I heard the proposition you made, Pinky. I say ditto. Oh, Dick. Ditto, Richard. A fine town. Yeah. I... Either way, I can't lose. Pardon me, Mrs. Frey. Uh, Mr. Graham to see you. Graham? Graham? Sounds like a cracker. 
Yes, ma'am, that's what he looks like. <laughs> oh, 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 good afternoon, Mrs. Sprague. I'm J. Wilberforce Sprague, and I should very much like to be your son-in-law. Indeed, and what are your qualifications as a husband? Oh, oh madam, I'm a self-made man. I see, and you've not quite finished. <laughs> Have you a job? What? I say, have you a job? No, but my father has an income. Oh, what does your father do? Uh, he's on relief. That's the way out, Mr. Graham. You can give me some relief. Oh, very well. Then I should jolly well be shoving off. To the loo, Mrs. Spring, and all that sort of rot. Oh, I'm going to go out to the loo, Mr. Dudley. Well, I made good. Well, what happened? Well, you accepted. No, I was definitely turned down, and that takes care of proposal number one. Now for proposal number two. It's up to you, Herman. You've got to tackle her mother. You'll only be offered number two. That's yeah, right, Herman. Mother never takes anything under the third offer. But supposing our arithmetic is bad and she accepts me. Oh, not a chance. That female cash register, uh, pardon me, dear, counts going to sleep and counts waking up. Female cash register, eh? You want me to stick my neck out just for Madame Jumbo's amusement. Madame Jumbo? Well, the idea. All I want you to do is make the second offer. Herman, yes. I want to marry Pat. Even if Mother is unfair, why don't you help us? Yeah, please? come on, will you, pal? Yes. All right, but heaven help you, Nancy, if you're stuck with me. Mrs. Sprague. Show him in. Yes, ma'am. Mrs. Sprague, my name is Herman White. Sounds like a nice, clean name. <laughs> Mrs. Sprague, well, uh, briefly, I'd like to marry your daughter. Well, have you a job? No, ma'am. Have you ever had a job? No, ma'am. You see, I suffer from Park Avenue malaria. Oh, what is that? Well, I eat well and I sleep well, but I haven't any desire to work. Well, that's lovely. It'll <laughs> give you more time to take Nancy out. <laughs> yeah. Huh? You mean I... Oh, of course. We'll announce the engagement immediately. Oh. <laughs> oh. But don't you want to hear about my family? Why not? Well, to begin with, there's a slight insanity on both sides of my family. Well, it's evenly balanced. <laughs> yes, but father's in a padded cell. Oh, I'm not bothered about your father. I'm only interested in you. Oh, <laughs> But don't you think I'm a little crazy, too? My boy, we're living in a crazy world. Yes, I'm <laughs> beginning to realize that now. <laughs> now run along and tell Nancy the happy news. She'll be so glad to hear it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mrs. Sprague, oh, the time Pat, has come. You stop acting like a fox terrier. How can I act like a fox terrier with a pug like this? And besides, I'm rehearsing a yes, speech. Yes, I know. I yes. know all about... Mrs. Oh, Sprague. Herman, Herman, what happened? Yeah, what happened? Nancy, your mother can't count straight. I missed. What? You mean she accepted you? Accepted me? She harpooned me, hook, line, and sinker. Oh, I don't feel so well. You don't feel so well? No. What about me? Well, why all the gloom? What's up? Well, nothing. Herman just got engaged to Nancy. Engaged to Nancy? Is that true, Herman? Oh, but it's only for a little while, honey. Oh, short and sweet, eh? Sure. Well, this is for a good long time. Oh, Louise, oh, you hey, understand. Wait a minute. Tough luck, pal. Don't pal me. I gotta be arrested for what I'm thinking about you, you beast. Miss Sprague would like you all in the living room. <laughs> She's about to pronounce the death sentence now. Yeah. Well, go on inside anyway. I'll, I'll try and think of something. Well, I hope you do. Children, one of those thrilling breathless moments that happen so rarely in one's life has suddenly overtaken me. Come, Herman. Come, Nancy, darling. This dear boy has paid my darling daughter a great compliment. He has asked her to become his wife. Oh! You, you fool! Oh, but Nancy! Oh, oh, but... What's the matter with her? Oh, I'm not there. Hello, Station XCY. I want to talk to Uncle Snuffy. He's doing his last number with the boys. They'll be off the air in 30 seconds. Hold the line. I'll put Uncle Snuffy on just as soon as he's through. Children, this occasion calls for some entertainment. Let's have some music. Good heavens, what's the matter with you? I forgot to tell you, madam. When I hear music, I lose all control. Oh. I feel it coming over me now. Give me room. Oh, yes, yes, give him room.
Pinky, give this to Herman and don't let Mrs. Sprague catch you. Here, quick. Huh. Run along, children. Herman must be quiet. Why don't you join your friends on the terrace, Nancy? All right, we'll leave him alone for a little while. <laughs> Pat sent you this. Okay, Pinky. You know, it's simply ridiculous, Briggs. The children think they're putting something over on me. <laughs> but I wasn't born yesterday, nor the day before. Mrs. Sprague, yes. that young man, he's acting mighty queer in the living room. Oh, I'll come and see about it. Hello, Mom. Herman, what's the meaning of this? Well, you see, ma'am, seeing as how Nancy and me is going to get hitched, I figured I'd get myself a job of work supporting my pride. Well, why this outlandish costume and that ridiculous talk? Well, from now on, I'm a hillbilly. A hillbilly? Yep, my joy and Uncle Snuffy and his old dark melodiers. Uncle Snuffy? Sure, I brung him with me. Come on in, Jay. <laughs> Folks, I want you to meet my future ma. Hi, ma'am. Right glad to know you, ma'am. <laughs> Nice little shack you got here. Herman, you must get rid of these dreadful people. Ma, that ain't hospitality. Oh, you know, ma'am, when the young folks get spliced, I'm going to give them that old shack up on the Ozarks for wedding presents. An old shack? Yes, ma'am. It ain't got no running water, but a mighty fine roof when it don't rain. Oh! Nancy will never agree to this. That's where you're wrong, ma'am. Oh. Nancy will love it. Oh, Nancy! Hi, Ma! Oh, Nancy, how could you? Oh, Ma, I love them. Besides, I gotta go where Herman goes. Hey, fellas, how about a song for Ma? Yeah! Oh, yeah. oh Ma, old banjo hangs on the wall. Hey. We get that tune to the way last fall. And along the road that he used to wear. I'm wearing to the church in the morning. <laughs> oh, I'm a gold wrestler, a gold wrestler, a gold wrestler. I'm going to wear the gold wrestler, a We'll give her just a little bit more punishment. Oh, what happened? She's all right now. Well, that's fine, folks. Let's give the lady another. I ain't gonna listen to no more. Oh, you've got me doing it now. <laughs> here she comes, here she comes. Uh, but, uh, Mrs. Sprague, don't you like music? Yes, and no, who are you? I'm the manager of that organization. I want to get my daughter out of this. Mrs. Sprague, I have a contract with your daughter and future son-in-law. I'll give you $1,000 for that contract. That's only your first offer, and I never accept the first offer. I'll give you $3,000. You're getting warm. Well, what will you take for it? Not money, but let me make you an offer. What is it? Me, and I'm Nancy's third offer. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You're all whipped. <laughs> 